I've never heard of anything like this up until the other day. This is a completely new concept to me. I learned it from my vet actually. He come out to my place to do semen testing on my bulls and he said he had this new technique to uh, try out on them for steadying them when he was uh, when he was taking scrotal measurements. I was able to use it myself and I didn't know how the cattle were going to react to it. They, uh, they seemed to take it very easily. It was easy to insert and uh, use. They steadied them. We left them for 10 to 15 seconds uh, with it inserted. It was uh, better because then they were used to it. And uh, the animals, we were able to work on the animals. They fixated in on it and uh, it was great. We, we were able to get through the bulls, uh, I, I feel, faster this way than uh, just the traditional way of trying to either hopefully they stand still or tail jacking them. The device is very straightforward and simple to use. Um, I picked it up right away. I seen it used the once. I picked it up and uh, was able to use it as well. I was able to bring it in and uh, use it here on some of the sail bulls that we're working on in, in uh, Brandon. Several different people have used it here uh, and they were given no additional training. They just watched how it was used the first time and uh, feel that it's very easy to use, yes. Um, it's flexible, the animals can move around a little bit with it as far as just head up and down and it, you still hold on to it and it doesn't go anywhere. So, As far as when it comes to left or right hand, no, it doesn't matter which side you uh, insert on. If you don't have room on one side, you can easily insert it on the other side. Men, women, uh, Juniors, I'm sure, could use it as well. When it comes time for uh, junior members clipping 4-H animals, some of the heifers or steers don't get as much work on them as they should have uh, when that first clip comes along. And I feel that a 10-year-old kid could probably work this. It's very humane. Um, there is no harm to the animal. All it is is just a, a, a pipe inserted and uh, they just want to chew on it. They fixate in on chewing on it rather than worrying about what you're doing when you're working on either legs or taking scrotal measurements or I feel it's going to work very well when it comes time to uh, AI. We get those cows that fidget a lot in the shoot when we're AIing and I, I feel that it's going to work very well for that. It is light, it is strong, it is durable, it does have some flex to it. Um, and if it does uh, twist a little bit, it's easy enough to get twisted back, but it takes a fair bit of force in order to bend that. It is made of stainless steel. It is very easy to keep clean. Give it a wipe, give it a rinse, and it'll, uh, it'll last you a long time. It is a two-man system. Hopefully most guys have two people there. Um, I know that I do, so. We could use this um, for many different applications when it comes time for clipping heads of animals, which we demonstrated here. Um, we'll talk about AI work on them as well. When we're trying to AI the cattle at home, the tattooing of the bulls, all our purebred breeders tattoo all the animals in the year. And uh, it's been used in that, um, not firsthand I have seen it, but I heard that it worked very well for getting uh, calves to suck um, with cows that aren't wanting to pay attention to their calf, you can just insert that and, and take their mind off of things. The cow that's got mastitis and you're looking to work on a quarter um, would be a, definitely a positive for that as well. Basically, it comes down to if, the, if that animal doesn't want to stand still, you could insert this and uh, get their attention that way to do what you needed to do with them.